Hello, my beautiful and courageous friends. It's Natalie Kelly here. And today I'm here with Dr. Lori Chaikin, who's a rehab optometrist here in Alameda, California. When the waves came and when the storm raged, found myself falling into the ground. When the wind blew, that's when it fell through. And I don't know how to turn it around. I know there's more to me than the record you see. There's more to be. I'm still on the journey. A wonderful resource also is a book written by, she's known as Stereo Sue. Oh, yes, I read her book. You read her book? Yes. And it's called Fixing My Gaze. And she is like the poster child of uh, working in neuro. And it's really her experience as a 40-year-old woman with strabismus that was a pediatric case. She, she had four, I believe it was four surgeries um, that made her eyes look normal um, but she never had deaf perception. Mm -hmm. And she's the poster child for neuroplasticity in the visual system because she was able to demonstrate that at the age of 40 plus, once she got the correct prescription, the correct identification of what the problem was, and her case was also a very small a vertical imbalance, and then she had vision therapy to teach her brain how to um, work with both eyes together, she started experiencing deaf perception for the first uh, sentient time in her life. And there are now, this is a huge area of acknowledgement in the vision research community that they are now willing to acknowledge that there is such a thing as visual plasticity in the neural system. And it, it'd be fun to do just a whole talk just on the research that's out there on, on uh, visual plasticity, visual pl plasti neuroplasticity in the visual system that demonstrates it over and over and over again, that someone with a torsion in their eye, where their eye rotates, that they can actually learn to unrotate it, mm -hmm. um, that there are methods for, for, for doing that. That's really exciting. And, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. Yeah. There's just, there's a lot out there. <laughs> it's really exciting because so often you see in the literature that this can't be fixed or you hear from your doctors, there's nothing we can do about it. Right. So this is really kind of revolutionary to think that we can have neuroplasticity and repair. That's right. Our eyes and our vision. The, and the you people, see that. I, I see it every day. And the people that originally said that neuroplasticity only exists in the visual system up until the first year of life have now recanted and said, we agree that visual plasticity does, it, it is possible for the adult brain yeah. um, to become, um, to, to recover yeah. and to, to gain new skills. And even in the area of low vision, which is another area that I work in, uh, people that, that have gone blind from macular de degeneration, we can actually retrain other portions of their retina to hook up with the visual, the, the area of, of central vision, which is 70% of the visual cortex is for central vision. And we can retrain the eye to hook up with that area, even though there's no actual area of, of vision left. When it fell through, so, and I don't yeah. know so how to turn it around. I know there's more to me than the record you see. There's more to be. I'm still on the journey. I'm still on the journey.